Bro, they just gave me like a free Baja Blast by accident. This is legit the second time Taco Bell has sent me a free Baja Blast I didn't fucking order, dude. Dude! I got green fluids now. tell you the story about me in the basement with a retired drag queen? I don't think you did! <laughs> this is the story of how JW got fucking molested by a coked out ex-drag queen. I was talking I about Kirito. It's not... It's not how you're I mean, it is by definition exactly what you're describing it, yeah. but it's not what you're describing it. <laughs> of a Fresh Coast IPA. It's not... Or not Fresh Coast I, uh, Yeah, yeah, Fresh Coast IPA. So it's a Fresh Coast India Pale Ale. It's a lot, of, a lot of words to mean it's a beer with a lot of hops in it. I'm drunk as fuck right now. I've been been enjoying enjoying this... these... these amounts of beverages, but I'm... I really want DoorDash. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get myself a fucking sandwich. It's really good. It's, it's a good beer to read a murder case to. Where the fuck was I? I got a new controller. It's this. I like it. I think it's pretty schnazzy. These, these pack triggers are kind of like GameCube. Where they like slowly inch in. Not as clicky though. I like how GameCube's like clicky. It's 8 bit do SN30 Pro Plus. That's gonna get the Pro Plus 2. But that comes out in April and I'm impatient. Boy, I didn't wanna wait. I'm gonna fucking play some video games. Coca Bana! Coca Bana is your sale! Coca Bana! Coca Bana is your sale! Alright, let's fucking suck at some some video games, bros. The Retro Rumble. This is one of my favorite fucking games. It's I like it. Shit. Shit. I didn't realize how drunk I was until I tried to play a game. I just backhanded him with that. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Oh shit, blue meanie! Can I taunt? There we go. Let me jiggle my tits so I get stronger. Jiggle my tits so I get stronger. Jiggle my tits so I get stronger. I legit spent $120 on this thing as a bit. And it's been like a few fucking years now and I'm still on the fence whether or not this joke is paid off or not. After kicking her, she fell onto a stereo unit and collapsed into a fit of convulsions. Since she was bleeding profusely and pus was emerging from her infected burns, the four boys covered their hands in plastic. Sorry, covered. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Covered their hands in plastic bags so that the pus would get on their hands. Hey, Hawk! Get fucked! Get fucked! Ah! Is that a damn tube TV? I like how not only <laughs> I like how not only is this on a damn tube TV, but there's also just a fat stack of styrofoam. <laughs> Juga Furuto is a Japanese high school student who was abducted, raped, and tortured, and murdered. What the fuck are those slippers? Bruh. Those are like uh, the fucking grodiest slippers ever crafted by man. <laughs> November 25th, 1988, Miyano Minato wandered through Misato, wandered around Misato with the intention of robbing and raping local women. People who are too poor to afford capture cards don't have fucking 
<laughs> relevant Let's Play channels, because YouTube is a fucking corporate soulless piece of shit. This video is just mostly grunting. I should have shown after she had finished a job, fi fi finished a shift at her job under Miano's orders, Minato kicked Furuta off her bike and fled the scene. Miano, under the pretense of witnessing the attack by coincidence, approached Furuta and offered to walk her home safely. This is a different shitty video to watch. This video is just grunts. Like, I don't know what the fuck else I'm supposed to say on fucking grunts. What the fuck is that audio? Oh. This is also just fucking great. Ah, yes. okay. uh, you know what it probably was? It's probably literally the fucking ah. Let's go back here with our freaking Cheeto cycle, cause we're Chester. Okay? Ah, fuck! My beard just exploded yeah, fucking everywhere. Shit. What is this ass? Speaking of, in one incident, Miano repeatedly burned Fruta's legs and arms with lighter fluid. By the end of December, Furuta was severely malnourished after being fed only small amounts of food and eventually only milk. Due to her severe injuries and infected burns, she became unable to go to the downstairs toilet and became confined to the floor of Minato's room in a state of extreme weakness. Fact ratio. The black transsexual homosexual. Also, we all fucked each other. Well, sort of. Um, I fucked the fatter dude at the bottom, and then the future trans girl above them also fucked them. So everybody just fucked, like, the chubby dude in this. Ugh! There we go, I'm grunting. I'm grunting, just like all the old days. It's coming full circle! Oh yeah, concrete encased high school girl murder case, due to her body being discovered in a concrete drum. I I know it was like like a big metal drum that she was shoved that her fucking dead bod was like shoved into, but like um I like to imagine like like fucking <laughs> like fucking Motorhead <laughs> was like doing a fucking concert and they're fucking wailing on the drums and all of a sudden out of the fucking drum case popped out a fucking concrete cylinder with some dead high school girl feet sticking out of it. <laughs> that'd, that'd be a concert. And let me, I mean, he's not alive anymore, but he's probably fucking old enough. <laughs> or was. The abuse was mainly perpetrated by four teenage boys, Hiroshi Miyano, um, Yo Ogura, Shinji Minato, and Yoshuji Watanabe. Over a period of 40 days from November 1988 to January 1989, the crime was believed to be the worst case of juvenile delinquency after the war. What a shitty thing to say. The worst case of juvenile delinquency? This is like one of the single most disturbing murder ever. Like, this is one of the most fucked up things a person has ever done to another person. And they're calling it juvenile delinquency. Like, I don't know if the Japanese word or words they used to mean juvenile delinquency just, like, had a more serious connotation to it, but the translation, uh, juvenile delinquency, when I think of that, I think of when I, like, Stole a Naruto DVD from a thrift store. <laughs> like, that that was juvenile delinquency. This is a group of kids raping a woman for 40 days and beating her for 40 days. Until she was physically, like, morphed into a weird, ugly mess, begging for death. To the point where they weren't attracted to her anymore, so they- uh, Why am I skipping ahead? Shit, that's spoilers. Shit. Shit. Rick me fucked for Satan! I- I mean, does it count as spoilers if this is, like, from the 1980s? Can you spoil something that's older than I am? 
I don't know what order these clips are gonna be in, so I don't know if this is actually coming full circle. It might come full rectangle. Bros, we're going full rectangle, motherfuckers. You ain't ready for full octagonal, okay? She lives with her parents, her older brother, and her younger brother. As a teenager, she attended Yashui Minami High School and worked part-time in a plastic molding factory during after-school hours since October 1988. She did this to save up money for a graduation plan she had planned. God damn, mother of redundancy, a graduation plan that she had planned. You could, like, cut out th th that part's not needed. No, sh if it's a graduation plan, she planned it. Obviously, you don't need to restate that the graduation plan is a plan. <laughs> Full octagon. <laughs> That's, um... Yeah. Furuta also accepted a job at an electronics retailer where she worked after... Or she planned on working after graduation. At high school, Furuta was well-liked by her classmates with high grades and very infrequent absences. The perpetrators were four teenage boys, and none of this is relevant because all of them are pieces of shit! There's... <laughs> you can just summarize all the information on these people as they're piece of shit rapists. But apparently, uh, Miyano Hiroshi was 18, uh, Ogura was 17, Shinji was 16, Watanabe was 17. Uh, they're referred to as A, B, C, and D in court documents. At the time of the crime, they used the second floor of Minato's house as a hangout and had previously engaged in crimes including purse snatching, extortion, and rape. I'm fucking hilarious. How does everyone not love me? Like, I'm hot as fuck, I'm funny as fuck, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know, a lot of people do love me, though. A lot of people do love me, just not on, just not on the internet. Well, that's not true, either. Just not in video form. I don't know, my Twitch does pretty decent. My, my Twitch actually does pretty decent when I do stream. My, my Twitch is just I don't stream enough is the problem, so I can't really even say that as an excuse. Ah, shit. Ah, uh, kick his ass! Fuck you! You fucking knob! All I wanna do is win! <sighs> Shit! Fuck, I'm trying to butt mash to get up and I accidentally hit the button during a grapple. So it counts as me. Hitting the grapple input too early, and that's fucking me up a lot. But anyway, the group had history of gang rape and recently kidnapped rape another girl afterwards. At 3 a.m., Miyano took Fruta to a nearby park where Minato, Ogura, and Watanabe were waiting. They learned her home address from a notebook in her backpack and told her that they knew where she lived and that Yakuza members would kill her family if she attempted to escape. So the four boys overpowered her, took her to a house in the Ayase district of Adachi, and gang raped her. Again. I mean, I. I I think that's the first gang rape. I think the other one was just singular rape. I think that's the first gang rape in the article. The house, which was owned by Minato's parents, soon became the regular gang hangout, November 27th. Minato's parents contacted the police about her disappearance to discourage further investigation. The kidnappers forced her to call her mother and say she had ran away but was safe and staying home with some friends. They also forced Furuta to stop the police investigation. When Minato's parents were present, Furuta was forced to act as his girlfriend. This controller is fucking solid, though. I'm, I you count this as my review of the controller, I guess, if you want. Fuck! Alright, come on. Come on. Control Cabana, we got this. Come on. Let me get into... There we go. Now I can do my stronger grapples. That's good. Where even am I? Where'd I go? <laughs> there we go. Fuck this guy! Everything's a fuck up! <laughs> Gotta go back in time! 
Where's the goddamn DeLorean? <laughs> held Fruta captive in the Minato residence for 40 days. Where they were repeatedly beat, raped, and tortured her. According to their statements, the four shaped her pubic hair, forced her to dance to music. I wonder what music. What music were you forcing people to dance to in the 1980s while you shaved their pubic hair? I'm curious. Genuinely. I kind of want to know. While naked and masturbate in front of them, and then left her on the balcony in the middle of the night with little clothing, they inserted objects into her vagina and anus, including a lit match, metal rod, a bottle, and forced her to smoke multiple cigarettes at once, inhale paint thinner, and drink large amounts of alcohol, milk, and water. Fuck you, Stevie Richards, you cunt. Yeah, uh, fucking eat, buckle, bitch. Buckle eater, motherfucker. Jake the Snake DDT, you're down for the pin! January 4th, 1989, after losing a game of Mahjong, Miano decided to vent his anger on Fruta. The group kicked and punched her, ignited a candle, and dripped wax on her face, placed two short candles on her eyelids, and forced her to drink her own urine. Fuck you, just lose! Fuck you, Austin Idol, Matt Cardona ass, fucking ass. Jiggle my titties. Jiggle my titties. Chicago Skyline! Stomp! Chicago Skyline a second time! You should be dead. They continue to beat her and dropped an iron exercise ball on her stomach several times and poured lighter fluid on her thighs, arms, face, and stomach, and set her on fire once again. Furuta allegedly made attempts to put out the fire, but gradually became unresponsive. The attack lasted two hours. Furuta eventually succumbed to her wounds and died. Ah, shit. No selling my finish, you fuck. Jiggle my titties at you, how do you like that, huh? How do you like me jiggling my titties at you? Jiggling my sexy Colt Cabana daddy man titties at you. Uh, how does that make you feel about your life right here, right now? Chicago Skyline! Chicago Skyline of the world, damn it. 